Just in time for spring break and effective immediately, American Airlines is charging more to check luggage. $35 for the first check bag if in advance paid online. $40 of paying at the airport, up from the current $30 baggage fee. The second checked bag will cost $45, a $5 increase. American is also charging more for checked bags to Canada and Mexico. But passengers can avoid the luggage fees if they hold elite status with American's loyalty program, buy a premium class ticket, or use an American branded credit card. So this definitely can impact not only just the average consumer wallet, but it really hits home for families that are traveling with multiple bags. And there's another change. Starting on May 1st, American says customers will only earn frequent flyer points if they buy tickets directly from American or a preferred online travel agency. In an email to customers, American says when you book directly with American, you enjoy the best possible travel experience. To check or not to check has been the debate for years. We'd now like to welcome any travelers with carry-ons that have no chance of fitting in the overhead for compartment. <laughs> With many passengers packing everything into carry-ons. So will other airlines follow American in hiking luggage fees? Delta now charges $30 for the first bag. United charges $30 in advance. Alaska and JetBlue just raised their prices to $35. At Spirit, $44 is the cheapest fee, while bags still fly free on Southwest. The airline industry is a copycat industry where usually when you see one airline change a policy, you're likely to see other airlines do the same. As more and more passengers return to travel, airlines are really raking it in in terms of baggage fees and other fees. Okay, so Tom, you made a mention if you buy the more expensive ticket, you get the bags thrown in. Is that ever a good option for people? Listen, I think that everybody has to do the numbers and decide if it makes sense. Because keep in mind, airlines these days can and often do charge you more for leg room, for an aisle seat, a window seat, of course, for food, for, for your luggage, for, for Wi-Fi, all of that, right? Food and drinks. So you've got to decide at the end of the day, is it better to get a more expensive ticket where some of that is included? Or do you want to go with the cheapest, a la carte, if you will, and then keep adding on all the fees and... A lot of people on a budget, you know, they struggle with that. Yeah, that adds up. I was also concerned about the frequent flyer miles. So you don't get them if you book through another agency? That is what American is going to do effective May 1st. They want you to book your ticket on their website. Otherwise, you won't get the frequent flyer points. Now, they are going to announce some a specified favorable or preferred travel outlets you can book through. But well, for the most part, they want you to book on their website. And if you don't, they're not going to give you the points. Sometimes the other ones are cheaper. Oh, I so you know. Go the cheapest. Exactly. Why? This makes me grouchy. Okay. Don't, <laughs> shoot don't shoot the messenger. Don't oh, shoot the messenger. Not your fault. We won't. They're going to start right. charging, like, do you want to smile from the flight attendant? $4.99. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All Thank right. You. Thank you, Tom. <laughs> Mr. Roker, what's going on in this world? I had to actually use Apple Pay to actually get in the bathroom on one of the planes. It's just oh, no. it's terrible. <laughs> They're just going too That's far. It. Just too far. <laughs> My gosh. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.